the deep depression over the South Bay of Bengal, which has intensified into a cyclonic storm, Mishong is likely to continue to move north and northwestward, and it is expected to reach the west central Bay of Bengal of South Andhra Pradesh and adjoining North Tamil Nadu. As for the latest update by the Indian Met Department, Cyclonic Storm Mishong has intensified to a severe cyclonic storm. Meanwhile, all schools, colleges, educational institutions, government offices, including the offices of public undertakings, boards, banks and financial institutions in Chennai and other districts will be closed on the 5th of December. Latest visuals have come in of uh, the cyclone on your screens. Uh, we're showing you some of the visuals that have been coming in from, uh, this is from Palikaranai in uh, Chennai, where we can see the waterlogged roads. Now there is full flooding that is taking place in Chennai. You can see all the cars, in fact, see the force with which the water is moving, it's literally taking all the cars, sweeping the cars down with it. We will try to go across uh, to my colleague Jay Prakash in just a short while from now. And I'm going to also request our crew to, uh, if they've recorded this visual, to take it off air so that I can show our um, viewers some more troubling visuals that are coming in from Tamil Nadu. Of course, the state government has asked uh, all people to be safe. Uh, they have asked uh, all people to stay indoors. Schools and colleges are shut tomorrow in the state. So this is, of course, the latest uh, that we're learning. One more visual that has come in. Let's uh, put it out on our screens if we can. One more visual that has come out from Chennai of the cyclone. There you see it on your screens. This is a partial rescue operation that was going on. Troubling visuals, they're coming in from Chennai where we see a group of people now trying to help this man from an area that has been very badly affected by the incessant rains and the sheer force of water that we see in Chennai right now. Naveen Bhatnagar with us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Bhatnagar, thank you so much for speaking to NewsX. Like I said, sir, troubling visuals coming in from Chennai. What is it? Uh, that perhaps you are learning of the situation, sir, and what is it that governments are then expected to do uh, at this point in time? Yeah, so in the morning also I had uh, given my opinion about it. So no problem, already the state government is taking care about it, as well as uh, the NDRF and SDRF uh, companies are there uh, to look after the rescue operations and people were evacuated uh, in the safe places. And uh, now the rest of the part is uh, heavy rain and as well as the uh, uh, storm. Uh, these uh, two repercussions will be there and uh, naturally heavy loss will be there uh, on the coastal area, especially the paddies and uh, crop and uh, your vessels and uh, your ships and your uh, this, uh, boats. Uh, it will be naturally damaged. So anyhow, never, no massive uh, damage will be there, and uh, people are uh, few people who uh, have the pakka shelters and uh, other uh, areas. They are there still, and uh, all the help will be given by the state government as well the uh, NDRF and SDRF uh, in the rescue operations. So uh, we hope that everything will be uh, make good. And very soon, every will, uh, everybody will be uh, safe. Yeah. All right. At the same time, Mr. Bhatnagar, what is it? What advice can you give to the people that are currently in uh, Chennai and some of the other districts that are uh, heavily affected by this cyclone? Yeah. So people should not go out because a uh, few journeys are there who have the intention to walk and see and capture the pictures and all these things and make the video so they should not do these things 
is a harmful because in past uh, we have felt uh, that such type of bad experiences uh, uh, happened due to this uh, childish uh, action. So anyhow, uh, government is very strict about it and uh, they are not allowing the people and also the your uh, rail uh, this uh, your uh, road and uh, bridges and uh, water drainage systems it will be naturally damaged so uh, heavy water will be flown on the roads and boats will be uh, shared this rescue boats will be there to give this uh, help to the people and uh, dry ration and other things will be given because light will be not there and uh, you are naturally uh, cooking uh, problem uh, will be there. So for all that purposes, government is uh, giving the adequate uh, this manpower and uh, rescue operation items and all these things, help will be given to the people. They should remain in their pakka houses if they are there. Otherwise, uh, everybody is uh, requested to go on the uh, uh, shelter homes as uh, defined by the government. Yeah. All right, Mr. Bhatnagar, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.